Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Yeah! We're gonna attempt to go on a run in the Bugaboo. Just a little two miler, I think. But I need to get back on the feet, and plus I wanna check out the new Keanu 28. So we're gonna see how this goes. This isn't designed to be a running shore, so this might end up being like a two mile jog. But we're gonna get out and get miles on the feet. Good morning. I'm starting my day with Mary Poppins. It is the one year anniversary of my mom passing away and Mary Poppins was her absolute favorite Disney movie. And so that's how I'm starting my day. I think throughout the day we're going to watch a lot of her favorites. Um, our plans <laughs> have changed as usual. Um, more about that later, but yeah, we're gonna do our best to to honor her and to remember her and to, I mean, we do that every day, but um, that always helps us on anniversaries like these. The boys are out and I'm just here with little Teddy. I'm gonna start editing the vlog. It's going well, taking it slower. This doesn't have shocks, but it's going well. Beautiful day. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Did you touch his hand? <laughs> Gonna be gentle. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hey, God bless you. Teddy? You're so good at being gentle. Yeah. Is that so funny? We have one sleeping babe here. At the light, turn right onto Sharon. And one one sleeping babe here. So we have unexpectedly made our way to the north side, the, the far north side today. Um, I have been having just a little bit of pain and like concern that I want my midwife to check up on. And I already had a two week checkup scheduled for Monday, but just figured just to make sure like nothing over the weekend like was more concerning. Um, I called and they got me in today. So I'm just gonna have a really quick checkup, make sure everything's good. Everybody ventured with me. Um, and we might do something up here afterwards, but we're just gonna knock this out. <laughs> the GPS keeps cutting, cutting me off. Um, we're just gonna knock this out and then be on with our day. And we made it like 30 minutes driving around with the kids asleep. I got Mickey Mouse Funhouse playing for James. I took Teddy out because he was getting restless and needed a break from the car seat. Now we're just waiting for mom. Uh -huh. All right, my appointment went well. I'm okay. Everything's fine. We made it into the Misericordia Hearts and Flower Bakery and Cafe for lunch. All right, James is all excited because our food's ready. We got a donut for Jamesy. Sarah got a caprese sandwich, and I got like a croissant ham and cheese croissant. And Sarah got a fancy spritzer, and I got a coffee made it like Mr. Ryan style, which I've done a long time. A ton of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> and I got this flyer too, so we can show you this later. And we brought some banana bread and Irish soda bread to bring home. I think James was, was the one who succeeded the most today at the cafe. He had like bits of everybody's. He loved every single ounce. That's how you know he's back to himself. He can everything. 
James, we're going to go see if Grandma's name is on a building after this. There's a cool grand opening sign outside. Oh, James eating some crackers. Um, so Mr. Corey's been around a, a long time. Very important piece. 100 years, yeah. Very important piece of Chicago culture and families. This is a cool bakery. We usually go to the Misericordi Fest. What? It's the uh, September. Yeah, it's like the. It was always like the beginning. It it always signaled like the school year to, yeah. the, or the end of summer. Um, which I don't think we've been to it since we vlogged because we wouldn't come back for it. Yeah, no. It was. It's like one of those like days where it's like one of your favorite days of the year, but like with us coming back in the summer and the fall and the winter, like it just means we never made it happen. And then they haven't had it in two years. Right, because of COVID. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? It would be so much fun. Uh, well, here is, because Misericordia is the place where I actually had my first Euro, and I fell in love with Euros. These are disgusting veggie chips that he loves. Sarah and I hate them. All right, well, here is the morning treats, afternoon sweets, in the cafe menu. Pause it if you want to check it out. And then there's some info there to order some things. And where they are, they're at the Evanston Farmer's Market. They do parties. A little info on Misericordia Hearts and Flower Bakery and Cafe. And I'm gonna go order, or I'm gonna go buy a, a travel mug. Feels good to be here on the anniversary of Sue, but hits your heart a little bit extra because I didn't know she'd be here to experience this bakery with us. <gasps> James, let's go get a donut. I caught another one. James is all confused. <laughs> he walked by the door on the side, and I just opened it to let him out. But Mom and Teddy are still inside. So Peter is out trying to find this wall that my mom's name would be on. So when my mom passed away in lieu of flowers, we had people make donations to Misericordia Home. And after so many donations were made in her name, they put her name on this, like, memorial wall you know thanking her and like her memory um this misericordia heart of mercy i'm going to read right from their website a description of this like incredible facility of what they do so misericordia offers a community of care that maximizes potential for persons with mild to profound developmental disabilities many of whom are also physically challenged. By serving society's most vulnerable citizens, Misericordia also serves the families who want the best for them, yet cannot provide it at home. Residential options, 31 acres, um, 600 children and adults, and 20% of residents come from poverty homes or have no families or wards of the state. My mom worked here during high school and after high school. Um, and we've been involved with coming here for their annual fest. Like we said, my whole family comes. Um, and it's just a huge, big fundraiser. And over the years, it's just become this incredible place. Well, and Jamesy needs more donut. You donut boy? So like I said, my whole extended family, it's one of our favorite days of the year to come here for their big festival. Um, but also it just had a, like, it was a huge part of my mom. Um, she worked here for a long time, and this is her field of work. She worked in special education, as well as at-home therapy for children with autism. And like, she was just called on this earth to do this. Like, if you knew my mom, you would know that like she is just incredible. And so, it was so serendipitous that this is in Rogers Park in Chicago, and there's a route on our way home from my midwife's office back to our apartment that drives right by the campus and so we we're like this is the perfect place for us to come today um and so it's really special so hopefully peter is able to find it and we can go take a look we are home everybody's in need of a nap but this is the only brookhart who is getting a nap James E. fought going down. Look at my hair. I took out my braid. I'm not, I have a headache. Peter has a headache. We're all just like in need of a snooze, but I just don't think it's going to happen. But I think we're just going to take it easy the rest of the day. The plaque was not there with my mom's name just yet. They had just done like a big order of them and they'll be up. Like, we'll just check back probably later in the year. 
um yeah we are thinking about what we're gonna do for dinner thinking about what other movies i put little women on which is like one of my mom's favorites and actually like the color palette and the style like was like what she based our family rooms like interior decorating out of, off of um so i don't know maybe we'll snooze probably not We put on Cinderella, Grandma's favorite princess movie. Mm -hmm. right, James and I are on dinner pickup duty. First stop is Jewel for fancy drinks. I gonna see about getting one of Grandma's favorite desserts. I found this, but I think this is gonna be, end up being a bad idea. But he's loving it so far. I'm gonna be thoroughly surprised if this balloon makes it home. He's enjoying it at the moment. I guess that's all that matters, right? All right, we got Crab King over there. It's a newer place, Cajun seafood. The balloon still exists. You can tell that like they didn't fully inflate it, which I think is making it work out. And it's I don't it's not full helium because it's not like floaty. Um, so maybe that's all working in James' favor. But he is being a goofy kid on the way home with this balloon. Look at all this good stuff. That is a dinner in Sue Ryan's honor. Oi! Jamesy. What did you get? Ah! Look at this. This is going to be very messy. I think this is like true blue Cajun style. Like, uh huh. Man. I don't think you ever had it like this. No, I haven't. I'm excited now. I got snow crab and shrimp, and there's like corn, potatoes. Sarah and James are gonna share the um, sampler. sampler and soup. Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we got beignets. My soup is gumbalaya, which is gumbo and jambalaya, like I had a baby. And it is so up my alley, so good. So apparently we've got a Cajun baby too, cause he was eating, he pretty much split. The entire, like, there was half a snow crab. He, he ate half of the half of the snow crab, and I ate the other half. He was loving it. And he ate a couple. It was spicy, but he was not <laughs> denying it. He would, he would scream after every bite, and then he'd want more. He'd go. <laughs> yeah. What so are you doing now? Here's the aftermath of that. Wait. Um, I tried, I snuck in and tried one of the beignets. They're not as good as Port Orleans, but they are very, very good, and very dangerous to be very close. <laughs> over here playing. I thought about putting him in like this side because Teddy is in like a little mobile bathtub. We're, just, we're playing over here while his little brother gets cleaned up. All right, it's a little after 10. This little guy has been asleep with me for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Uh, Sarah laid with James to put him down. I just have to go in and like move him to the crib. Um, that's a little hard right now while Sarah is recovering. She's not supposed to lift him like that. Um, for a few more weeks, um, but I think Sarah and I got Gilmore Girls on. I'm in a Gilmore Girls kind of mood. Um, I think Sarah and I have been doing a good job so far of like splitting our time. Obviously, like when James was sick, I had a lot more time with him, trying to keep his sickness away from Teddy and Sarah. And obviously, Sarah spends a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Teddy because she's breastfeeding him, and during that sickness, was taking care of him. But I think um, we're getting good at like having, making sure we each get appropriate one-on-one -on -one time with each of the kids throughout the day. Um, so thank you, Sarah, for that. Greatly appreciate it. And now I th actually think Sarah fell asleep there too. So we're supposed to have banana cream pie. We might have that childlessness because Teddy's asleep. James, hopefully I can transfer him and stay asleep. And I just realized my coffee from earlier is still up here. So we had a thing of a, a plant up there that we've since moved down because it just doesn't get good enough light in here. And we haven't put anything out there yet, and today I realized I can use it to keep my liquids away from the dog and children. Like my cup of water or my cup of joe. I'm actually still gonna drink that right now at 10, 20 at night because I think my circadian rhythm is just garbage. 
The last little treat of the night. Banana cream pie, my mother's favorite. Look at this beautiful baby, still asleep, but he's gotta wake up to have a snack. Maybe a diaper change, but it is almost one in the morning. So I got one of those weird end of the night second winds or third winds. I shaved, I did some dishes, I cleaned the top of the stove. I think that was really it. Not a whole lot, but like it took a little, an hour, a little over an hour of my time, but I, then I realized it's like it's just some of those things that are just easier to get done when everyone's asleep. Um, then Sarah woke up and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, let's go to bed. It's, it's late. Um, so we're going to get Teddy ready. He's actually due for, like I said, for a snack. And then we'll all go to sleep. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>